Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back today to a Minecraft Xbox and PlayStation surprise update video. 4J have been very quiet over the past couple of weeks. We do know they were working on title update 32. However, today they have released title update 33. They have actually fixed some more bugs that were left from title update 32, along with introducing something from Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now this is extremely promising, and I'll explain to you towards the end of the video why I think Minecraft Pocket Edition and console version will be linked in the future. So today on Twitter, 4J posted this saying, a bug fix update for Minecraft Xbox One and Minecraft Xbox 360 is rolling out now, it may take some time to be available worldwide, they then tweeted, change list for today's bug fix update on Microsoft consoles are on Xbox One, Xbox 360. And then they went ahead and tweeted this, which is a bug fix update for PS4, PS3, PS Vita. is rolling out now in Japan and Europe and later today in North America. Here's the change list for the Sony platforms, PS3, PS4 and PS Vita. Now all the changes on all versions are exactly the same and these are the changes Change logs are ordered by the most recent first. Change log for title update 33, February 25th, 2016. They added the Biome Settler skin pack, which I've actually bought and I will showcase in today's video. And I'll talk more about that in a second. They also fixed the Guardians not spawning. I never even noticed that bug, but I did no notice that there was a rapid uh, reduction of Guardians on Minecraft console compared to the PC version. Um, obviously Minecraft console is limited to how many mobs we can have, but there really didn't seem to be any Guardians around the Guardian Temple, um, so that's been fixed. They've incorrect attack damage shown on tooltips when enchantments. Redstone clocks get stuck on when changing dimension. Fix for animals in love mode, lacking heart particles for duration of love mode. I don't know how people find that. Fix for slime spawning in the nether. Now slimes are spawning in the nether instead of uh, the lava squishies, which are the magma cubes, which I found was just pretty funny indeed. So this is what 4J have changed their banner to as of today. Now as soon as I seen this, and as soon as 4J did tweet this, I was like, I have seen this skin pack before. Now as you guys know, I'm a big fan of Minecraft Pocket Edition. If you're a fan of my channel, you know I post a lot of Minecraft Pocket Edition content. If you look at this, Going back to a couple of weeks ago, Mojang and the Minecraft Pocket Edition developers tweeted this out, Minecraft Pocket Edition Biome Settlers Pack 1. You can see here on my actual device, we have Biome Settlers uh, Pack 1. On Minecraft console, I think there's around about 24 skins available. I think it's exactly the same for Minecraft Pocket Edition. The prices are exactly the same, which is £1.59. I think it's like $2. But you guys can see the skins that are available there, which I think are really impressive. Now moving on to something else very exciting, if we have these skin packs now for Minecraft Pocket Edition, it looks like in the future we can expect to have these. Now Minecraft Pocket Edition recently did get the Redstone Specialist, um, which of course is an awesome skin pack that recently was reduced because uh, was introduced because of the Redstone update. So I think whatever Minecraft Pocket Edition they're going to get, and Minecraft um, console get, they're going to actually like interlink. So this could mean like cross-platform in the future. A lot of us are kind of convinced that Minecraft console and Minecraft Pocket Edition are going to be linked together. Minecraft Pocket Edition already has some skins from the console version. Now the console version has some skins from Minecraft Pocket Edition. So it is really, really exciting. So 4J, I did tweet this today saying, workers be banging. I can hear a hoover. I guess I better get up. And 4J said, don't you have a news video to, to make with a winky face? And I replied saying, I do indeed. I have to inform the world of our takeover. I mean, skin pack. Yes, skin pack. Now, as you guys can see here, 4J went ahead and gave me six codes. Three for Xbox One and three for Xbox 360. I'm going to give you guys a task. If we hit 2,000 likes, I will give you guys the codes on stream. All of them, because I went ahead and bought the skin pack myself so you guys can enjoy this. So... Let's jump into today's video. I'm going to briefly go over the skin pack. It is only a basic skin pack. It's the first skin pack of 2016 for Minecraft console. Let's hope that lots of exciting things are going to happen for Minecraft console because well, we're, we are a little bit behind. Compared to last few years, I feel like more texture packs, skin packs and mashup packs need to be introduced along with some more changes. So let's go to help and options. Let's go to change skin and let's go to biome settlers pack one. So this is the first pack. Now I like this because obviously we have new biomes now. So you've got the desert archer. I think a lot of people will enjoy these. They are very basic skins. None of them are out of the ordinary. They're normal skins that you would see in Minecraft. Here we've got the desert brawler. Let me know which your favorite one is. I'll tell you what when we get to my favorite. 
This is the Desert Brewer. I'm guessing he's like a potion person. We've got the Desert Engineer. We've got the Desert Griefer. Oh God, how many of you guys are the Desert Griefer? Uh, we've got the Desert Hunter. We've got the Desert Husk. We've got the Desert Tamer. We've got the Forest Archer. So this one and another one is my favorite one. I think this looks awesome. He's all camoed up and this would be great for like a jungle uh, hide and seek or like Hunger Games. We've got the Forest Brawler, the Forest Brewer, we've got the Forest Engineer. I like this one as well. So a lot of them are exactly the same. The Forest Griefer. A lot of them remind me of the Minecraft story mode. We've got the Forest Hunter. We've got the Forest Tamer. Now this one is impressive because I love the colors in the face. Uh, we've got the Forest Wood Beast. We've got the Tundra Archer. We've got the Tundra Brawler, the Tundra Brewer, the Tundra Engineer. Tundra Griefer, we've got the Tundra Hunter, and we've got the Tundra Stray. Now this is my favorite. This would go perfect in an ice bike biome. And we've also got the Tundra Tamer. Um, yes, I think we already had a Tundra Tamer. Is that, is that, that's it, this is the last one. So yeah, that's pretty much all the skins. I'm not gonna show you them in, in first person form. I'll let you guys go and explore them for yourself, but they are available. One pound 59, it cost me two dollars for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Let's pass 2,000 likes and I give those codes to you guys. Take care, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.